Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith is alongside me. League One football for you today. Alan. Delighted to be here, Martin. Looking forward to it. We've got Bristol Rovers here against Crawley Town. The visiting team have been really entertaining us with some great attacking football. And actually, they're the top scorers in the league so far. Oh, they've been full of goals and coming from all areas of the pitch too. Crawley Town, they played really well last time out and won at home against Gunthorpe United. Yeah, they actually played better than the 2-1 victory scoreline suggests and uh, they're a good team, better than the opponents today, I think they'll win. So this is how the hosts line up today. The shot's on, he scored! Fantastic start, really quick off the blocks here and they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. And the keeper's diving to his left but he's beaten by sheer power there. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Really tussling for the ball here. Attacking well here. He went in well. Christian Montana. This is the sort of side with the credentials to win the league. And they're getting themselves in a good position to do that. They are. I mean, they've not been uh, phased at all by being top. Sometimes it can affect teams uh, in, a, in a less than positive way, but uh, they look as if they're made for that top ranking. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. Good place to win the ball back there because the pressure was starting to mount and the interception was timely, to say the least. Tackle goes in. Gone for the through pass. Wonderful chance! The shot gets blocked. Oh, it's a corner via that deflection. Jimenez! The goalkeeper comes out with a punch. And it will be their throw. Poor throw, straight to the opposition. And shoots! And he's put it in for the goal. You have to say that's great accuracy of the strike because the way he's hit that just under the bar, the keeper had no chance. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Restarting at 2-0. Lawrence. And in he goes with the tackle. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. He's got his shot off now. Very good stop here. Steered in very classily. Great goal. Well, the keeper's a little disgusted with these defenders because they just haven't come to his aid there after a good save. That's given them a comfortable situation here. 3-0 as the game gets underway. Trying to stretch the opposition, using the wider areas here. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. They've coped with it well defensively. A 
goal from uh, Portsmouth. It's a goal for Walsall. It's been scored by Simeon Jackson. He steered the shot past the keeper and it went in off the far post. 30 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Clearly a throw, not quite clear whose throw it is. There's some potential in this move. Sharply done to restart it here. Good challenge here. Lawrence. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Romero. One, two, and having a little game of their own here. This is how they love to play on the break. And now the shot! Oh, it's clipped the bar! Referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. He's better usually at crossing than that. And that's the referee signalling for half-time, blowing his whistle, and it's 3-0 here at half-time. Well, the scoreline reflects what has been a totally one-sided first 45 minutes. We've... Well, we wonder if the second half's going to be like the first, one-sided. Goal news now from Portsmouth. It's a goal for Portsmouth. 46 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Lawrence. Taylor. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. It's going to be a substitution here for the home side. Tries the through pass. Into the attacking third. And here comes the counter-attack. The shot's on! Great stop. Now that's a throw. Substitution for Bristol Rovers. Coming off the pitch, number 16. Makes a challenge here. Murphy had a good look at that, decided it's just a throw after the tackle. Decision is a throw. It was a fair tackle. That throw has literally tossed possession away. And the referee says, free kick. Look again, Alan, at this, the slide tackle that went wrong. Yeah, I think so, and it was a poor tackle, it was badly timed. Here's a chance to attack. Just working away to try and find an opening. Here's a chance! Oh, he had a real go. Well, you can't knock him, he was in the right place at the right time, just couldn't uh, provide the finishing touch. Romero. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Shots on here. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. And the goalkeeper...
It's his ball. Twenty minutes of the 90 still to play. Well, they're in a good position here. And here, it's the goalkeeper's ball. Goal news involving Northampton. It's a goal for Chesterfield. 74 minutes played. 1-1. Thanks, Alan. We know how many late goals come in this competition. They want another one now. Well, it's not going to be a complicated approach now. This could be a chance. And now the shot! Well, that's a fantastic goal. Well, they look pleased with themselves, and no wonder the way they stroked the ball about and created the finish, picked out the spare man in the box. Goalkeeper nowhere to be seen. No, he just seemed to lose his bearings completely, Martin. A really odd one for him. He's been taken off now, the goal scoring forward. Goal yeah, good 8 out of 10 for him. You know, he's linked the play well. Chaplin. He's been energetic, so uh, they're just saving him, I think, for the coming weeks. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. And here's the shot. And that shot comes out with a punch to clear the danger. The shot's on. He's blocked that well. He's a great volley up. Well, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. A goal from uh, AFC Wimbledon. It's a goal for AFC Wimbledon. Five minutes remain. 2-1. Right. He's got his shot off now. Gone for goal in spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. Gaffney to be replaced by number 17, Jermaine Easton. And shoots! Well, they have scored here, and they're keeping their heads up despite being so far behind. Well, it does count, and it'll count in the records of the scorer as well. He'll be pleased, but there's not too much for them to be joyful about in these circumstances. No, a mere consolation. That's all it is in a game in which they've been well beaten, it looks like. 4-1 is the scoreline. The scorer will be very proud of this, but it won't mean too much in terms of the result, just a, a personal triumph for him. Yeah, I think so, the opposition really had stopped playing because they know that they've won the game. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Just one minute left on the clock. Never much doubt about...